States across the country are ending their enhanced unemployment benefits early. Nine states will cut off the $300 weekly federal aid on Saturday. The bonus was extended by President Biden's American Rescue Plan and is set to expire nationally on September 6th. So far, 26 states have announced they are ending the payments before then. All but one have a Republican governor. Expanded benefits were put in place by Congress last March as unemployment neared record highs. But as Americans get vaccinated and COVID-19 cases drop, some states and employers claim the bonus is preventing workers from coming back. CBS News Money Watch reporter Amy Peaky has been following the story. She joins me now from Burlington, Vermont. Hi, Amy. Great to see you. So how many workers will be impacted when these nine states end the federal unemployment bonus on Saturday? Yeah, there are about 440,000 workers who are going to be cut off from unemployment um, as of Saturday in these nine states. Um, and, I mean, that's kind of a smaller share of the total number of people who are still, uh, are still on unemployment. There are more than 14 million people still on unemployment. Um, a lot of the larger states are continuing to pay unemployment benefits, like California and New York. Um, but 440,000 people, I mean, that's still significant. And, um, you know, for a lot of them, it's a bit of a shock. I mean, they were given uh, 30 days notice by their governors, um, which I believe the governors had to provide that notice as of uh, because of the law. But it's still not a lot of time they're telling me to find a job. And so, you know, even though they've known this is coming, it's still going to be a financial shock. Many of them are going to go from uh, several hundred dollars a week in un unemployment benefits to nothing at all as of Saturday. Shalom. Call Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Dub honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Barakatham. To the hopeful elect. <clears throat> All right, and I'm gonna just get this real quick, man. I didn't intend this to be long at all. Just gonna read this real quick. The Psalms, Psalms chapter 62 and verse 10. It says, "Trust not in oppression, because that's what uh, mainly you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians wholeheartedly you put your trust in um, oppression." All right. You know, the ones doing all the oppression, all right, um, the ones that are causing you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all this, this affliction, um, that's who you put your trust in, you know. Um, reading on, it says, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. All right, because uh, pretty much with all these packages, all right, unemployment, you know, relief funds, you know, basically all this free money that, um, you know, the government has been giving to the people. All right. Um, there's another scripture that talks about how um, it says something along the lines of how um, um, riches profits you not in the day of wrath roughly paraphrasing it all right basically um you know these riches man they're not going to save you from the judgment of your how about shimel shy all right you know so this is why it will behoove you um you know no no matter what you know because uh certain brothers even certain brothers in the truth um have received of these benefits or whatnot all right but again, um, it wouldn't be wise to put all your trust in these, you know, these these riches, all right? Because like the scriptures say, um, a gift, and that's what Esau he's been he's been given all these gifts, these these benefits, all right? Free marijuana, free donuts, you know, he's been throwing all you all these bones to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right? Which uh, a gift destroys the heart, man. Gifts, um, or basically bribery, you know, because they're all thought, they're all, all um also offering incentives for people to take the the you know what the thing thing the thingy thing thing you know, um, and, and um like I quoted, 
a gift destroys the hearts, man. It, it, it impairs your judgment. It, 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 um, you know, uh, basically bribery. It, it, um, basically stops you from making, um, logical decisions and reasoning. All right. It clouds your judgment, you know? So no matter how much we get in riches, man. All right. Um, one thing, um, because the scriptures authors talk about how, Yahweh Shai, he makes a man, he makes a man rich and he makes a man poor, you know. So all, either way, all of our substance comes from Yahweh Bashimel Shai, you know. And it would only make sense if that's the case. You would put your trust in Yahweh Bashimel Shai and not your trust in oppression, you know, because this system is based off um, oppressing you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man, you know. And this is why, man, to you, Jakes. To you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, that you refuse to turn, you refuse to um, depart out of the ways of Babylon the Great, um, and, and turn back to your power, man. You refuse to do that. So with that being said, because um, Esau, one way or the other, man, he's going to be destroyed. And to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, that you put your trust in the staff of Egypt, you're going to fall with it. All right, you're going to be destroyed with it. So one, once again, Psalm uh, chapter 62, verse 10, it says, Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. All right. You know, because again, with this whole, um, you know, people getting money, the government giving people all this money. All right. What have people been doing with it, man? You know, because like I said, even brothers in the truth have received these these benefits. All right. And, you know, um, you know, you, you receive these riches, man. It, it will be wise to, you know, invest in, you know, uh, stuff like tangible items, man. You know, the Apostle Elder Tahar often talks about investing in silver and gold, you know, which is real money. All right. Gold is silver and gold. That's real money in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know. And, you know, make certain, make make investments in, in you know, a, a, a wise investments. You know, in, in, if you receive received of these riches, man, um, you know, spend it wisely, man. You know, because here it is, you got Jake out here, man, basically paying for a lifestyle that they can't afford. And when this comes to, to, to bite you back in the ass, man, all right, you know, um, again, don't don't call on your how about Shemel Shai in that day because... You Jakes, you rejected Yahweh Shemel Shai, and we're coming into the times where he's closing the doors of mercy, man, and he's gonna reject you. All right, so um, I'm gonna play this video, man, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna also play um, one more video, uh, one more video. All right, so I'm gonna play this out, see what they say. Wow, and you know, as we said earlier, employers have been complaining that the bonus is preventing people from getting back to work, but you've spoken to many workers who say it's not that simple. What are these workers telling you about the challenges they face? Yeah, so I, I've been talking with a lot of these workers and, you know, hearing a lot of different stories. And it's interesting because a lot of them actually made more money um, in their jobs before they were laid off because of COVID. And so they're saying, you know, it's not the money, um, that they're dealing with other issues. Um, some are parents with young children and they're dealing with remote school. They're having trouble finding child care. And now that um, kids are off for the summer, they're, you know, they're at a loose end sometimes with what to do with their children. Um, children also under 12 still can't get vaccinated. So that's another issue. Um, I've also talked to workers who just can't find work in their fields. You know, these are people who are in tech and healthcare, hotel management, and the jobs just aren't back yet. And so because on, an on another note, all right, being that with this whole, the uh, you know, this pandemic, man, um, which has damn nearly eradicated the whole middle class, all right? The whole middle class has been almost wiped out entirely, man, you know? And with talks, because put it like this, if if you see what happened with the first lockdowns, all right, and what happened with the, with the middle class, right, with talks of another, because um, they're talking about this uh, new Delta variant that's in other places, um, like the UK, in other places, but as also, it's in here in America. It's here in the states, and it's spreading. All right. So with that being said, man, you know, 
um, hey, it's safe to say to expect more lockdowns. All right. And if that happens, man, best believe, hey, man, this place is going to be in a worse predicament than it was during the first lockdown. You see, man, um, dealing with the, the, the first lockdown, the, the first lockdowns, man, that was supposed to be a... Um, um, cause that was how about Shimo Shah's way of sending, that was him sending his jab shots, you know, his warning shots to let you people know, all right, that, hey man, the Lord, you know, he's, he's getting ready to do something, you know, you were supposed to take into consideration that this is the work of your how about Shimo Shai, you know, <laughs> but what, what happened? What's going on? People are waking up or excuse me, not waking up, but people are, um, things, society is, you know, certain places are starting to open back up. All right. You know. Um, they're lifting restrictions and things of that nature and people are going basically right back to that 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 party and bullshit spirit all right people like I said you got them the, the, the government Joe Biden they're throwing all these bones at you so-called blacks Hispanics and they're making these here it is they're just erected a, a statue of George Floyd which that's you know um, basically man that's that's idolatry all right but um, at any, you know, at any rate, um, stuff like that, man. All right. They just declared this, um, Joe Biden just signed this, this law or this bill making June 19th, uh, national federal holiday or whatever, you know? So like I was saying, you know, I said this in a previous video, Joe Biden, man, you know, the Esau, he's throwing all these bones, you know, um, and, and you jakes are falling for the bait, man. You're going, you're getting rock, rocked that right back to sleep. All right. And it's going to be those type of people. All right. That's that day. Um, that's going to catch you as a as a thief in the night, because we are nearing more and more closer to the the, the great and dreadful day of your how about Shemel Shah, man. All hell is getting ready to break loose. You know, and that's why I want to play this other clip. All right. But before I get that. All right. Because like they were like, you know, they were saying here, man, um. Um, you know, basically, man, those, 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 a lot of the jobs being wiped out during the whole pandemic, all right, was like I said, you know, uh, uh, the middle class being almost nearly eradicated, all right, you know, it's, you know, pretty much, man, um, the only thing that's left, man, is, you know, the, the, the food services and, and stuff like that. People, you know, they want to get back to the, 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 you know, the, the mediocre desk jobs and stuff like that that they were working before, but a lot of them have been done away with, which that, that was strategic. You know, that was strategically set up, all right? But um, I'm going to get this in Isaiah chapter 24. In verse 8, it says, "The new Isaiah 24 and 8, The mirth of tabrets ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. You know, because it is a bitter, you know, it's it's a uh, hella bitter, um, you know, because we're telling these people that America is not going to bounce back, man. America, this place is through, all right, and that's a hard pill for people to swallow, you know. But nevertheless, um, reading on in verse ten, it says the city of confusion is broken down. That city of confusion, talking about Babylon the Great, aka America, all right, you know, because these people, man, they 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 here it is. On one 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 side, they're telling you that, you know, um, they're basically, you know, um, what do you call it, um, rejoicing early, you know, celebrating early, you know, because again, here it is, things are opening back up, restrictions are being lifted, people don't gotta wear the mask no more, so on and so forth, all right, but here it is. On the other hand, they're talking about a new variant that's spreading, you know, so nevertheless, man, um. Let me just read on, man. It says, verse verse 10 again, it says, The city of confusion is broken down. Even every house is shut up that no man may come in. All right. It says, There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. All right. You know, because America, man, is not the one, it's not the, 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 the once great, you know, mighty city that it used to be. All right, because again, the Lord is taking the mirth. He's removing the mirth from this place. He's removing the joy and the gladness from this place, from the entertainment industry. All right, the music industry, all that, man. The Lord's taking, he's bringing this place down because this place is through. All right, 
and it's not coming back. All right, all they're doing, man, you know, with all this stimulus money, you know, and all these bones that they're throwing out there, it's just bandages for an incurable wound, and they're just trying to put bandages on an incurable wound. All right, you know, it's only going to sustain for so long. It's only going to last for so long until you have a complete, just, just utter chaos out here, because that's what all these things are leading to. All right, people are not going to be able to pay their bills. All right, you know, um, it's just, it's just, this, this place is being set up, man, for the ultimate left hook uppercut, the, the ultimate Mike Tyson blow. This place is being set up, and these people are so blinded, they can't even see it, you know, but nevertheless, the Lord is removing the mirth from this place, all right? Businesses are still being shut down, and they're going to continue to shut down. Jobs are being lost, and people are going to continue to lose their jobs, man, and here it is with these benefits, all right? <laughs> You know, because, you know, they kept talking about how they were going to, um, you know, extend it, extend it. You know, they were extending. Um, but it looks like, you know, then, you know, this this could finally be it. You know, and again, this is going to lead to um, a, a, a plethora of things, including the next video that I'm going to play. But let me continue to play this out. In some of these areas, I mean, a lot of what we're hearing from employers that can't find jobs um, are employers in restaurants and retail. And the workers I'm talking with are saying, well, that's great, but that's not what I'm trained to do. This isn't my uh, background. This is not going to help me ultimately get back into my career. And so they're hesitant to get a job at a restaurant because it's just not what they do. It's not their skills. Um, so that's another thing that I'm right. hearing from a lot of workers right now. Which makes a lot of sense. So I'm curious, are employers then in these Republican-led states where they have been complaining to their governors about this bonus, are those employers doing anything additional, like raising wages or offering child care, uh, you know, to make it more attractive, to give people incentives to return uh, to some of these jobs, or even, like you said, some of these jobs that may not be in their wheelhouse, but if they're attractive enough, maybe they will go? Yeah, you know, in some states they are giving bonuses to people who return to work. Um, but these are often limited bonuses. They don't replace the entire amount of uh, unemployment aid that these workers are going to lose um, through September. And they're also sometimes only for like the first few thousand people who actually find work after the unemployment benefits end. So not everybody's going to get those uh, those one-time uh, bonuses. Um, worker or employers are raising wages in a lot of industries right now to attract uh, employees. And so that's one thing that's happening. Kind of the market is just kind of um, doing that in response to the, the fact that they're having trouble, some of these industries, and finding workers. So that's happening as well. But, you know, that's still not enough to overcome some of these bigger issues of child care. Um, also, I've talked with workers mm -hmm. with long COVID. You know, they're just not um, able to go back to work yet. They're not physically able to go back to work. So that's a So I'm going to get this in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 5. It says, get wisdom, get understanding. Why? Because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, not a gain in riches, all right? Not stimulus money, stimulus checks, all right? That's like I quoted, riches will profit you not in a day of wrath, man, roughly paraphrasing it, all right? Um, it says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. <clears throat> Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. All right. So above all things, man, get wisdom and get understanding. All right. You know. Um. So that was it on that. Because again, man, when it comes down to it, um. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. This is this is the most valuable possession. All right, but Jake, man, they turn a blind eye to it. You know, they can care less about the laws and ordinances of Yahweh. About Shemuel, right? They can, they can care less about this truth, man. All right, and that's why I said before, um, when it comes down to it, man. You know, these people, man, they reject Yahweh about Shemuel, Shai, and then ultimately, when it comes down to it, the Lord's going to reject them. All right. So I'm gonna play this video now, dealing with the the moratorium 
that's supposed to be ending. All right. Play this video. It's probably going to be an ad. Listen, if you're an already successful individual with the desire to further build your wealth and create... Renters have been protected by a state-imposed moratorium during the pandemic. When it runs out in two weeks, landlords can evict those who can't pay. And so people are really on very, very shaky ground in terms of housing stability. This week, lawmakers outline a proposal to protect renters from eviction for non-payment for 60 more days, as long as they have applied for the state's rental assistance. Mari Elin Clare, a tenants advocate, started a petition asking local and state governments to extend the moratorium beyond 60 days. Time for people to get their jobs back. Time for the companies to come back. Because in 60 days, if you don't have a good paying job, you're not going to be able to hold on to your housing. And if you get evicted, then how are you going to rehouse yourself being evicted? There is up. And like I read in Isaiah 24, man, the mirth is gone. All right. You know, the doors of this place, man, are shut up. You know, scriptures talk about how the grinders cease, man. You know, going into basically the workforce. <clears throat> all right. You know, because it's only going to get bad out here, man. You know, um, as like I was saying, this is going to lead to, and it's no coincidence, they're talking about a hot summer, you know. Here it is, you got uh, law enforcement, you know, police officers, man, they're they're basically, um, you know, walking away, man, from, the, you know, from, they, they're walking away from, they're, they're turning in their badges, man. You know, um, I mean, because, I mean, there, there, there's a lot going on with that, all right, but basically, the point being that with that being said, Expect an increase in crime rate, man. You know, you know, with with less local law enforcement. All right, um, you can just imagine, just 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 picture. Um, not that much law enforcement. Um, not on top. Uh, not only that. All right. Um, again, you know, people are gonna they're they're, they're gonna lose all this free money. All right. You know, um, a lot of people, they're, they're about to be evicted. You know, what what you think, man, people, because people are already, it's like when you back a, when you back a cat into the corner, man, hey, that cat is going to come out swinging. That cat is going to lash out. And that's what these, that's what these people, man, they're, they're, they're like, they're like that cat that's backed in, into a corner. All right. They're about to lose their jobs. You know, they're, they're, they're a lot of, uh, they're going to, they're going to lose all this money. They're going to lose their homes. All right. So what you think they're going to do, man? They're going to go about things, you know, the ski mask way, if you know what I'm saying. They're, people are going to take matters into their own hands. And, and you know, hey, man, it, it's going to be a dog eat dog world out here. All right. This is going to force people into a life of crime. You know. You know, people are going to take the next man for what he's got, you know, because not not even to mention, you know, hyperinflation is around the corner. All right. Famines, you know, uh, scarcity of food and resource, all these things, man, it's, it's, it's a combination of things, man, you know. And I also read another video uh, dealing with the, um, you know, um, people, um, you know, them doing doing away with these these these, um, you know, um, um, you know, employment benefits and all that stuff about how basically, man, they were testing. <laughs> Um, cause people aren't going back to work because they're getting, you know, more people, a lot of people making more money living off the government than they were actually working, you know? So there was, I saw another video how basically, man, they were, this is, this is like a test. They were doing this as a test, man, you know, to, to see whether this, 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 um, um, this is going to get people to, to, um, get back to work or, or something along, along those natures. But basically, cause Esau, he knows what he's doing, man. And he wants all hell, all hell to break loose. He, he wants to see how the people is going to react because from that, all right, you get the order out of chaos, man, order at KO, man, you know, you know, cause again, all these things, man, it's going to lead to, 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 to chaos, all right, turmoil in these streets, man. It's going to be, hey, man, it's going to be Mad Max out here in these streets. And that's going to justify Esau, him coming in with his, his draconian laws, you know, martial law, military, all that stuff. You know, so Esau, he, he wants these things to happen. He wants these things to take place. You know, so um, let me play this out.
opposition to the proposed 60-day extension. But there's a lot of landlords out there where they just can't afford that. Christian Bryant is with the Portland Area Rental Owners Association. He says the last 15 months have already been tough for smaller landlords who were forced into foreclosure or had to sell property. There was definitely help that was needed, protection that was needed, so that we didn't end up with more homeless than we already did. Uh, but it's not fair uh, to do it by way of passing laws like this which forces uh, landlords uh, to foot the bill and subsidize that help. Round three of the Landlord Compensation Fund went out early June. Oregon allocated a total of $150 million to the relief fund to compensate landlords for up to 80% of unpaid rent. It's a good band-aid, but I don't think it's, nice. it's a, uh, a fix. If the foreclosure moratorium... Like I said, all right, Pretty much everything that they've been doing, you, you, they, they, they've basically just been putting a band-aid over an incurable wound, man. All right? Because these things, they're not going to fix the problem permanently. It's just a permanent, uh, excuse me, it's just temporary solutions. All right? Territorium that just recently got extended, if that ends up uh, expiring before they're able to get caught up on all the unpaid rents and thus unpaid mortgage payments and everything... Then there's a decent chance that that, uh, you know, 80 cents on the dollar isn't going to be. Yeah, you know, because, um, um, again, you know, <clears throat> people <clears throat> with all this money that they've been getting, they've been bullshitting around with it instead of actually investing in, you know, uh, making wise purchases. You know, Jake out here buying Hellcats. They know they can't afford. All right. You know, just just blowing the money away, you know, instead of paying the rent. You know, and paying off utilities, certain utilities, or, or whatever the case may be, man. Jake has just been blowing this shit off. All right, so when, like I said, when all this comes back to bite them in the ass, all right, hey, man, Jake is about to tear these streets up. You know, I'm going to get that real quick. Going to be enough. Bryant and Alain Claire believe lawmakers need to consider everyone involved before passing new amendments. It's unfair to put that bill on the landlords. Um, you know, if we're going to provide a social service to help out a segment of the population, uh, then we need to agree as a population to split that cost up amongst all of us. Why don't we take the time and deal with the different income groups more appropriately rather than trying to go right down the middle with something one size fits all that, that leaves this group totally out? All right. So anyways, I'm going to read this in Isaiah chapter 19. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse uh, 15, it says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush, may do. All right. So again, these people complaining that, you know, they don't want to they don't want to work these these minimum wage jobs, you know, because they were, you know, so used to working these, the, you know, the, the 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 receptionist desk, you know, and all all these other jobs and whatnot. All right. Um, again, man, um, in the end, at, at the um the 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 end of all this man soon there's not gonna be no jobs all right you know and even people that you know do work jobs and that's not gonna be enough all right that's that's not gonna be enough to sustain you know um so like i read before you know the lord's doing away with the mirth all right you know because this place is through men you know um but reading on in verse 16 it says in that day shall egypt be like unto women and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh of hosts, which he shaketh over it. All right. So, again, um, with all these things, um, you know, a uh, combination of all these things, man, it, it's just it's just a, the, the pot is brewing. All right. And soon it's going to spill over. All right. Because, again, you take away people, you know, um, the, the soon they're going to do away with this, the, 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 you know, these these uh, uh, packages, you know, all this money. People are about to get evicted. All right, uh, prices and food and good, all that stuff is going to soar. All right, famines, all these things. And, you know, like I said, that cat being backed into a corner, this is going to cause Jake to lose their shit. And when you read verse uh, 17, it says, In the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of Yahweh of hosts, which he hath determined against it. All right, because as dumb as these uh, 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 Americans are man, uh, especially Jake. All right, like when you pay attention to different places like Greece, France, Italy, 
all right uh, a lot of places are protesting their governments because they know they're corrupted they know that their governments are corrupted but here it is you jakes over here man you have no idea about this system that's working against you all right you know like i said esau he keeps throwing these bones at you jakes and you keep uh falling for the bait man you keep falling for it all right but soon you know like i said when when, when esau backs you into a corner that's when you're going to be a uh, terror unto Egypt, man. You're gonna. Uh, J that's when Jake is finally gonna start tearing these streets up, and that's when you're really gonna start seeing uh, riots and, and protest. All right, because that's like I said, Jake, man. You take all the, you know, the ability to live away from Jake. All right, you know, the, hey, Jake, they're gonna lose this shit, man. You know, when, when you like the saying goes, you know, when you have nothing to lose, you lose it, and Jake is about to snap. All right, America is is, is is this this place? These people are a ticking time bomb, and it's just a matter of time. And like I said, it's no coincidence they be, they've been predicting this summer to be a hot summer. They they're predicting basically all hell breaking loose this summer, you know, with the with the price and, and gas going up, you know, and everything that I mentioned, man, you know, because like I said, Esau he's orchestrating this. Um, but really, how about Shmuel Shai is using Esau? Because like I just read here, man, you know, ultimately all these things are. All, all these things that how about Shemel Shai? He's in control of all these things, you know. So, um, yeah, man. Um, that's it on that, man. I just wanted to, you know, put this out there. Um, see how Jake handle handles it, man. Because again, Jake, you 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 put your trust in oppression, you know, in in, in riches, rather than your how about Shemel Shai, man. All right. And again, you, you don't even know, man. You being set up for the ultimate okie doke, you know. So with that, give all credit to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim El Shai, broke a thumb to the hopefully leg. Until next time, those will say shalom.